Hello everyone, this is Vaseem from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session in which we are going to talk about Python Selenium. So before we begin, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. And do check out Edureka's certification program. The link is given in the description box below. So let's discuss the agenda for this session. Firstly, I'm going to start with what exactly Selenium used for in Python and then we will discuss how we can do automation using Selenium in Python. Finally, to sum up this session, we will deploy a web app using Flask on a server, a local server, and then we will write a test case and execute the test case using Selenium in Python. So I hope you guys are clear with the agenda. Also, tell us in the comment section guys if you have already worked on Python automation using Selenium or if you are aware of web browser automation using Python. Tell us about your experience, how you learned Selenium with Python. Do let us know about any specific concept that you want us to cover in the upcoming sessions. So without any further ado, let's take a look at the introduction guys. So Selenium Python bindings basically provide a simple API kind of a structure to write functional acceptance test using Selenium WebDriver. So we'll be taking a look at WebDriver where we'll automate stuff with Selenium WebDriver and we'll write certain functional test using Selenium as well. And Selenium Python bindings provide a convenient API to access Selenium web drivers like Firefox. We can access Chrome and remote web driver as well. We're not going to work on the remote web driver in this session, but we will work on the Chrome web driver. So we will tell you about how we can access the web driver using Selenium. So to better understand how we can work with Selenium, let's go to PyCharm guys and we will take a look at how we are actually doing the automation. So we'll start with the Python automation. So the very first thing that you have to do when you come to PyCharm is uh, install Selenium using the project interpreter or pip install. You can do that in the terminal. So I have done it using the project interpreter. There you go with Selenium over here. And this is basically the Python bindings for Selenium that I was talking about. And here you can install the package. Since I've already done this, I'm not going to do it again. Now after this, after you have installed Python Selenium, what you have to do is import the Selenium web driver. Okay, I'll just Make it a little bigger. So after that you create a class and you declare the driver using self over here in the init function and there you declare the web driver Chrome and I have used this location where I have downloaded the Chrome driver.exe file from the internet because there are times when you will find a lot of errors while executing this particular statement for the Chrome web driver. So make sure you download the correct version which is compatible for your Chrome web browser as well. And after that you can use the web driver.chrome functionally. Now after that we have this login function that I will talk about in a while and then we are creating the instance for this class and using that to execute the function login. So this is all about the code which I have used in the automation. So the next thing that is considerably important for this particular session is uh, the self.driver keyword over here which we are basically using to make a get request where I have specified the URL. And this is the local URL guys so I'll just replace it for now because we have not deployed any web app on the local server yet. So what we'll do here is we will go for the conventional edureka.co website guys. So let's copy the URL right. So we'll go here. This is the URL that we want to go to and I will comment out everything. I'll explain this later guys. So right now I'm just discussing how we can automate stuff with Selenium. So as you can see guys, I am actually going to the URL that is edureka.co by automation. So this is a very simple example of automation where you can access the URL. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to click on some buttons or you know click on these elements and search for something. So let's say I want to search for a particular course. So I will locate this particular section over here using the inspect element. So I will inspect this input and I will copy the X path because there is a provision in selenium guys where you can actually access a lot of elements on the web page using find element by xpath there is find element find element by name find element by class name there are so many resources locator that you can use so i am using the xpath locator because it's quite easy to get the xpath from the web page and i paste the xpath over here and let's run this again and we will see if we are getting the same output or not right so our browser has opened. We are going to edureka.co. Are we able to locate? Right, so I think we found the element, but we have to click on it as well so that we know we have actually found it or not. All right, so let's call it as search. And now let's click on search. So using the click method, I'll be able to click on the element as well. Let's run this again to see if we are able to do that. 
all right so we are able to click on the search button now the next thing that i want to do here is you know write something over here now to write into this particular section over here what i can do here is let's try to use the same object that we have created and we will send keys write python selenium so let's search for python selenium first let's see if it works or not and let me remind you guys this is a very basic example of what i'm uh, talking about and after we are done with this automation all right so there is common exception element not interactable exception message in element not interactable so we'll do one thing guys now i think the search entry we will make another variable self dot driver dot and let's see if the xpath for this variable also is the same as the other one or is it a different one all right so let's copy the xpath paste it over here all right yes so it is slightly different from what we had before that's why i was not able to identify the element now we click on it and search entry dot we will send keys and we will write python selenium and let me write this right everything else seems fine guys i think i don't think there is any need for worry right now yeah so let's run this again all right guys so as you can see we are able to send the keys as well i mean we have sent some value that is python selenium in the text field now the next thing that i want to do here is click on this particular button over here or press enter so what the next thing that i want to do here is press enter so let's see how we can do that using selenium all right i'll just close these now we know that we are reaching that particular section where we have provided the entry as well using the send keys now the next thing that we will do is press enter all right guys now to send enter so from here we have to do from selenium dot web driver dot common dot keys import keys here and using these keys we can press enter all right so let's see if we can do that so this is how python selenium works guys for python automation where we can use the python selenium web driver for executing these simple automation tasks and now we'll move on to the next part here and for this we'll close for now all right so i'll just remove all these comments for now all right guys so i'll tell you about this particular you know login system that i've created using flask all right guys so i'll just run this flask login system on our local server so this is what the basic login system looks like so i have a few values that i have authenticated which will be logged in and i have a log out button over here and it will only log in with the correct set of values otherwise it will not and there is a register page also where we can create a new user and send a post request to the database that we have over here in the mysql work branch and these are the values that i have over here in the database which has id name email is there and the password is there all right so we are going to automate a process here and define it into a test case and see if the test passes or fails using python selenium all right guys so let's go back to our selenium file over here and now what i have done is okay i'll just copy the local i will close this all right let's copy this now let's run this and see if we are able to automate this whole task at all yes the login is successful so we have given the set of values that we already have over here and this is how the automation works guys now we'll move on to a next file guys so there we have defined the whole process where we have defined the test cases as well so to do that we have to import unit test and similarly you have to use the keys in case you if you want to press any enter or any other keys that you have over there since we used it for pressing enter in the last example that i told you about other than that you have to create a class which will have the instance as unit test dot test case and there will be a setup function there will be a test function which will begin with the test name itself there will be a teardown function as well so let me just quickly tell you about the code before we begin with this whole test case thing so the very first thing that we do is make a class and we have given it this unit test dot case right so initially the basic modules are imported we have done that 
and we have written unit test dot test case because this is basically inheriting from the test case class and we're just telling the unit test module that this is a test case so we have we're clear on that and after that we have the setup function which is part of the initialization and uh, it will be called before every test function which you are going to write in this test case class and after that we have the test case which i'll tell you about this later and then we have the last method which is the tear down so the tear down method with get call after every test method and this is a place to do all the cleanup actions guys so basically in a current method the browser window is closed and you can also call quit method to close the window instead of close over there and then final lines are the boilerplate code to run the test suit so let's just talk about the test function over here so we have self.driver.get basically you know going to the uh, url and then we are finding the username and doing the automation task that i've shown you just now and after that we are just doing one assert over there which is nothing but you know after the submission of this whole automation task you should get the result as per the search if there is any so to ensure that some results are found while we make an assertion an assertion basically you know test that the test case that we have provided over there is successful or not so if anything goes wrong the test case will fail because there will be no profile in self.driver.title right so this is the case here guys now the title over here is profile and we have authenticated the user so if you do not have the correct set of values for login information you will not be redirected to this page at all so in order to pass the test the detail has to be true so that is why it is a foolproof plan to just check the title of using the self driver and that will be enough for this particular test because there's a very basic login test so we'll run this guys and you'll see how we can just see if the test is running successfully or not right so test pass is the one of one test so test has been passed guys and we ran the test in 4.7.06 seconds so let's try to change a few things all right so instead of sending the keys i will write one two three let's say so now we have given the wrong values so that the test case will fail and we are getting the test fail result as well which is an assertion arrow which says profile in self.driver.title is not present so this is it for this session if you want to know more about how selenium works with python we have a full course on selenium as well and tell us in the comments which concept do you want us to cover next also this is a very basic example of what i've shown you in python automation you can do much more than that you can automate stuff like you know going to a web page and extracting the data from there of course after checking the robot.txt files for permissions yes so that's about it guys see you guys in the next session thank you and have a nice day i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!